welcome the discussion here, Pavel. First of all, why do you think uh, Turkey has made this decision? Uh, well, apparently it was to put more pressure on Europe, European Union, uh, for them to support Turkey in its uh, standoff over Idlib and most likely also to um, uh, the Turkish leader Erdogan believe that the EU is not living up to the 2016 agreement and is not providing enough funding that they uh, promised to provide. So this was a kind of desire to put on pressure, uh, but apparently Erdogan and the Turkish leadership miscalculated the whole thing, and so it didn't really, it, it, it really didn't work out that very well for them. But obviously authorities or in the Ankara refused to apologize for what you call the miscalculation. Let me cross over to Frieza Kamara, an expert of uh, Russian studies in Brussels. Frieza, what do you think of the timing? Uh, what is the specific reason that has motivated President Erdogan to exert the pressure apparently on the European Union at this particular moment? I think there's a couple of reasons. I mean, one, he's in some domestic uh, trouble at home and wants a diversion. Uh, secondly, he has particular problems in Syria after what happened to Turkish forces there um, last couple of weeks. And so he is looking to the EU and to NATO for support. NATO is not going to provide the air cover he wants, unfortunately. And so he's now using the refugee card as a means to try and get more money out for the EU. So I think these are the main motivations for Mr. Erdogan. Our guest speaker in Ankara is also ready for his comments on perhaps uh, domestic punches uh, that came out of uh, Ankara. Hello, Turkan. My question is very much about domestic politics in Turkey. For example, a head of a think tank, a very influential think tank in Istanbul, if not in Ankara, said recently in an interview, anyone in the position or uh, who takes the seat of President Erdogan would make much the same decision to reassess uh, the influence of Turkey diplomatically, militarily, if not economically. What did he mean by saying that anyone in the position of President Erdogan would have made the same reassessment. Uh, in Idlib, there uh, happened uh, an important attack to Turkish soldiers. Then, after this, uh, uh, in Turkey, the domestic uh, opposition parties uh, mostly uh, make their voice more, uh, and uh, Erdogan and the supporter the MH. P party uh, leader Bahçeli, they are uh, 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 they decided to make an operation uh, against the uh, uh, Syrian regime, and uh, then uh, it started by this way. But mostly we can uh, say that uh, most uh, the domestic issues, but also the uh, immigrant uh, 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 concerns are uh, the protection of the civilians on the border. They are both going. At, at the same uh, uh, phase, uh, we can say that uh, Turkey uh, has uh, uh, internal uh, 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 problems with the four million uh, refugees inside, and uh, by this way, Ankara, Istanbul, and Izmir cities lost uh, by the uh, Erdogan's hand to the uh, opposition parties. So this was another reason uh, that uh, the uh, commentators are talking on. Uh, but we can say that it is not a game. I mean, Turkey uh, announced that no longer keep the uh, um, immigrants uh, inside and then urged EU, EU uh, before all these operations. But the, the Idlib uh, attack was a start uh, to, uh, the, uh, for the uh, uh, open uh, borders uh, for the migrants. But let me know, Mr. Serkan, whether Greece is ready to cope with the influx of refugees. Uh, Greece, to my knowledge, is the uh, front gate uh, in the whole situation. But uh, is Athens ready? Or has it been called utterly unprepared? 
Uh, President Erdogan is likely to host uh, leaders from Germany and France next week in your country and continue their discussion about how to cope with the uh, rise in the number of refugees in your country. Let me know how Greece has responded to the emergency. Uh, well, in 2016, there uh, was an agreement uh, between tu Turkey and EU, and six different articles uh, didn't work uh, because of the EU side, and uh, Greece is responding to the refugees uh, so hardly, uh, using uh, gas against them, hitting and also killing uh, the women and children and the families coming uh, uh, to the border uh, from Turkey's side to uh, 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 Greece and uh, their just target is only to go to the Germany uh, but uh, the, the, the Greece uh, uh, police uh, is uh, uh, not ready for uh, just only thousands but Turkey already last uh, nine years during the civil war um, making uh, the refugees uh, uh, conditions better and better every day but now it is uh, 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 it stopped and then only just one refugee is not welcomed in Turkey anymore because of the conditions. But the Greece is supported by, by the EU, especially uh, when you look to the Germany, Germany uh, 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 just wants only the kids uh, come uh, to, uh, uh, to Berlin. Uh, but uh, they pay uh, lots of money to Greece, around 800 uh, um, million euros to support uh, 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 and uh, the, this violence against the refugees. So uh, 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 Turkey, uh, uh, the, the, the speculation on this issue is the ball is definitely in Europe's court now. Uh, next week, uh, the leaders are coming uh, to discuss uh, to uh, refugee uh, uh, crisis and there should be a new start uh, for them. Uh, the, uh, the EU um, uh, values are and not working, you know, the humanity is not working, the, the capitals of the EU countries should make um, a, a voice against their uh, governments who are forcing the refugees uh, to uh, die uh, on the border or on the sea. So uh, EU uh, leaders and Erdogan will discuss about the new uh, agreement for this immigrant crisis and it, it, they should uh, make a decision and be at the side of Turkey for this time. Frieza, I wonder if Brussels is ready to accept the refugees and I wonder at the same time uh, if uh, what happened in 2015 is likely to be repeated in terms of the uh, severity of the crisis. Well, in a word, Brussels is not ready to accept uh, a large 